Hi, I'm Dr. Devyani Barve and I'm a plastic surgeon practicing in Mumbai. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a thing which is commonly discussed and people have a lot of interest in it. So the lame person's term for it is Botox. But Botox, however, is a trade name and that's not what actually comes in the bottle. What actually comes in the bottle is called as a neurotoxin. What do I mean by that? It's literally a toxin for your nerves, which means it works on the nerves supplying the muscle and it paralyzes the muscle. What are the advantages of paralyzing the muscle? So when you stop the muscle from acting, you stop the skin which is above the muscle from reacting. So it reduces fine lines, it reduces wrinkles, and it reduces appearance of a tired and a sad look. Is there a certain age when a neurotoxin should be considered? Well, there are recommendations around it, but that is not something which I follow. I prefer to tell my patients that come in for a consultation for neurotoxin. Anytime you feel that your expressions or your face is not looking proportionate to the way you feel or to how old you are. What I mean by that is, if you're looking sad, if you're looking tired, if you're looking worried, when you actually aren't feeling so, then it may be because of your facial expressions and it may be because of the lines and wrinkles on your face. There are a lot of myths surrounding neurotoxin or Botox or one of the other brands which are available. People feel that lines can be fixed with Botox. So let me break that down for you. Botox works best when it is started just as the lines are appearing or even before they are. Now this can be at 25 years of age, it can be at 35 years of age. Filling up a line or making a line go away is not the work of Botox. It can make the lines subtle or make them almost non-visible. But once a line has developed, what we call as a static line, then you need something else to make it go. Now is Botox mandatory? Is it the go-to thing for anti-aging? Well, yes and no. So if your face is one of those which shows expressions a lot or it shows wrinkles and frown lines, you know, these lines which come up very obviously, then maybe. Maybe you are a good candidate for a neurotoxin. But a neurotoxin treatment is not a one-off treatment. You can't get it done today and then come three years later wanting to look the same. That's not going to work. A neurotoxin works for about five to six months and the effect wears off. So to maintain that look, you're going to have to keep doing it every five to six months, sometimes seven, eight months also. So that is a decision which you have to make. Are you somebody who wants to keep looking that way all the time? Then you'll have to get it done regularly. If you're somebody who just wants to look nicer for a function or an event or a wedding in the family, then you just get it done maybe a month before the event is up. And if you're somebody who's not at all worried about fine lines and wrinkles coming on your face, you don't do it. It's as simple as that. So Botox or any of these anti-aging treatments need to be tailored according to what your requirements are. At the same time, you need to understand what is achievable and what is not achievable with this treatment. So like I mentioned, a neurotoxin will numb or paralyze your muscles and prevent lines from appearing or becoming permanent or looking very obvious. So it makes you look fresher, happier and not worried if you're not worried. And fillers and other anti-aging treatments work in different ways to improve your face. So anti-aging is not an easy answer. There are a lot of options available and we need to discuss what your expectations and what your management regime is, what you're going to be able to keep up with and then make a plan. Thank you for watching.